just reviewing then, the EDI provider sends data so that a custom mapping program, which is either written by your EDI, EDI provider or yourself, can create a flat file from incoming EDI sales orders. This flat file, as we've seen earlier, is named IN850.txt. And you'll recall it was, uh, will consist of data in the format corresponding to F47 file record layouts with all data fields comma delimited so that the flat file contains one large string of data regardless of the number of transactions coming in. It's one long string comma delimited. So it could have many type ones, many type twos, but in the sequence that define each order individually. The user, after first creating his or her own version, say test of the flat file create program with revised processing options, will run the program, the, the, uh, the flat file create, to edit the inbound 850 data. And if it's clean, it'll write the data to the F47 files. For an inbound 850 customer sales order, the F47 files most commonly required and created are F4711, the header, 12, the detail, 6, the address override for sold to and shipped to, uh, 4714, the header attachment, and 4715, the detail line attachment. And by the way, when I mention running this extract program, if the data is not clean between a report you would get and your work center, it'll tell you which data is not correct. It might be an invalid item, it might be an invalid customer number, and so on. So this has to be attended to prior to the program loading into F47. So there's the version test that I created. And there you'll see the only processing option change I'll have to make is it's saying when I run it, it would automatically run F47011, which is an upload program from the F47 tables. I don't want this to run automatically. My experience has told me to allow both programs, both sta stages to run independently. So aside from removing the R47011 in item one of the processing option for process, uh, there's no other changes and there's no changes to the data selection for this program. When this program is run, by the way, it verifies that item numbers and the customer sold to, shipped to numbers exist in your JDE database. Also, an audit report is produced and messages are created, as I said, in your work center that indicate any errors. The errors have to be corrected in the flat file manually or your you know, SQL or whatever, or your JDE database, or both. Sometimes the JDE database, your ERP, your prod, may have some errors, may not have had the item defined yet, and your customer sending you orders for it, or you opened up a new customer, but you, did, uh, you're, you, you spoke to a, a new customer, he has a customer number, but you haven't set him up in your system yet, so that type of thing can happen. Um, the flat file create program is then run again once the errors are corrected, this time, if there are no errors, F47 file data is created. And this data, by the way, can be viewed by double-clicking the menu G47212S, which is on the G47 menu for, for uh, sales orders, which is called the Status Inquiry Revisions Program P4710, and then clicking Find. And that gives you this screen, which allows you to view EDI transactions prior to uploading them. Each line here is a summary line, and you can see I have highlighted on the left in the exit bar header revisions and so on. You also have detail revisions. And you will notice one other thing, uh, about five or six columns down you have SP. SP means successfully processed and uploaded, and you have a bunch of Ys. For the ones that don't have a Y, and they'll have a batch number, these are the ones you're gonna to try to load into JD Edwards. So I highlighted the first row, and I'll click the header revision row bar to get this, which shows me some header information. 
I can then click on the form exit bar for address, which is you see slightly highlighted on the left, address revision, and it'll show me if there was an address override for both the ship to where the dot is right now, or the um, customer number, which is just above it for the customer that the sold to. By clicking cancel, to cancel this screen, and going back a screen, this time I would click on header notes, and header notes would get me the header attachments that you see on this screen, and in this case, I have a delivery date sent to me hard-coded as an attachment for the header, and there it is. So please notice it indicates an actual delivery date. And the other thing I just wanted to mention in passing, if you recall the, uh, the first screen of inquiry, I had a choice to go digging down on, on header records or uh, de detail revisions as well, and the same concepts apply with their attachments and so on. And they would look like this. So by highlighting a row in this screen, I can click on detailed notes to see if there are any detail line attachments. And um, we would see you know, any comments about packaging or whatever in the same way. So this is basically showing you the functionality of the inquiry screen, showing you stuff that's been processed, stuff that is not yet processed, uh, ways of, in which you would select stuff that is not processed, where the, the uh, SP flag is not Y, meaning it's not been processed yet, and so on. And it brings us to the stage now where we're ready to upload selected data from the F47 tables that have been put there by the Flat File Create program into actual JDE sales order and related tables, just as if we had done it manually. But the beauty I want to stress here is once this is set up and working for, for a trading partner, the whole process is so smooth and electronic, there's almost no manual labor involved. In fact, some of these jobs can be scheduled to run by the job scheduler. In the, in the customer sales order menu, G47212 for the inbound 850, we're going to select inbound edit update, R4711. We'll make a test version. So we're going to upload using this program F47 files for a specific batch, not yet uploaded into JDE sales order files for F4201, F4211, via this report program called R47011. To make it simple, I just copied version XJDE001 to create version test, and now we have to slightly revise the processing options. Typically, we will specify the version of P4210 that we want to be used to upload F47 data because R4711, this upload program, actually uses P4210 or a version thereof to actually update the files as if we had done it manually. You could enter an existing version you've already created or actually create a new version and use it here. Of course, you'd have to create the new version first. The new version may be set up to use a different order type. It could be an SZ instead of an S0 with all its activity rules defined first, if you like. Although all the clients I've ever worked with for EDI have chosen not to do this and have only one order type, SOs, and use uh, activity rules and steps to take care of this instead. So as I, say, uh, as I said, you will probably want to create different order activity rules for EDI orders created via the upload so that you can keep track of them and process them with some special processing along the way so that you know which ones are EDI orders as well. Now, let's look at the upload program's data selection criteria 